You know, when I was in Bible school many years ago, they taught us that if anyone did not believe in the Trinity, they would be in a group that was heretical. And we never wanted to go there. They also taught us that when defending the Trinity, we could also make use of the Catholic creeds, which is the Apostles' Creed, the Nicene Creed, and the Athanasian Creed. And I thought that there was something strange about that for Protestants to be using the Catholic creeds. But nonetheless, that's what I did for many years. But one day as I was researching, I came to realize that the Catholic creeds have a lot of problems with them. And as I did research, I found out that the Apostles' Creed was never written by the Apostles. No one knows to this day who wrote, who wrote the Apostles' Creed, although it's credited to the Roman Catholic Church. Now, the Nicene Creed did happen in 325 AD. But as I researched on the Nicene Creed, I found out that this creed is not biblical because it has things in it that do not or are or, or not found in the Bible. And then when I researched on the Athanasian Creed, which is being used to this day by many Trinitarians, I found out that the Athanasian Creed was never written by Athanasius. Really, we do not know who wrote the Athanasian Creed, but it is a forgery because it was not written by Athanasius. The, the following presentation will show you that the Trinity is refuted by God Himself through the Bible and through the scriptures of the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Trinity refuted by God Himself, a biblical answer to the creeds and the New Bible versions. The Nicene Creed has three paragraphs. These statements were taken from those paragraphs. I believe in one God the Father, and in one Lord Jesus, begotten of the Father before all worlds. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified. For thus says the Lord that created the heavens, God himself that formed the earth and made it. He has established it. He created it not in vain. He formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord, and there is none else. In one Lord Jesus Christ, by whom all things were made, are created, according to the Nicene Creed. There are only five verses with the word creator in them. If you look at these five verses, you will find that God is never a trinity. God is one being and one person. Thus is the Lord thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb. I am the Lord that maketh all things, that stretches forth the heavens alone, that spreadeth abroad the earth by myself. The Athanasian Creed states, The Father Eternal, the Son Eternal, the Holy Spirit Eternal. The unknown writer of this letter made the three persons of the Trinity to be co-equal and co-eternal. I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. The New Bible Version say in John 1.18, no one has ever seen God, the only God, who is at the Father's side. This is the English Standard Version. All the modern translations say something similar. Most of them say the begotten God. The anathemas of the Second Council of Constantinople, it states like this, If anyone does not confess that God the Word was twice begotten, this is not Bible. Ye are my witnesses, says the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen that you may know and believe me, and understand that I am He. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. The Athanasian Creed states the Trinity in unity is to be worshipped. The Bible never tells anyone to worship or pray to a Trinity. And I fell at His feet to worship Him, and He said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. 
worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first, and I am the last, and beside me there is no God. Revelation 1.17 And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead, and he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. God is one. God created all things by himself. There is no God or Trinity by his side. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Now unto the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen.